Hi, I'm Wake Speed Jr., Total Seal Piston Rings, and we're back here at LN Engineering to finish up our series on Piston Rings 101. We're gonna talk about piston ring end gap and how to file fit a ring in this video. The most important thing to know in terms of determining what is the proper ring end gap for your application is that we've already done the homework for you. And in this booklet that comes with each set of rings, it actually lists all the correct calculations to get the correct end gap. Because what you wanna do is you wanna take your bore size and multiply it by the factor to determine the ring end gap that's correct for your application. As we mentioned before, a turbocharged engine under a high boost is gonna need a larger end gap than a gasoline engine that's naturally aspirated with no boost. So the chart gives you all the correct factors to determine the proper ring end gap. Once you've done that, you need to check your rings to see if it needs to be filed to fit. Some sets will need to be opened up some sets are drop-in. So the first thing you want to do is take your new ring and place it in the bore. We've already put one in here and we use this handy dandy ring squaring tool to place the ring at the correct depth and make sure that it's square in the bore. Then we're going to use our feeler gauge to see where that ring end gap is. And you do is you put it right in that little gap and you press it in, and in this case, that one barely wants to go in. So let's try the next size smaller. And it goes right in perfectly. So, for example, if we wanted to have a little bit more ring in gap, because say, let's say it's a turbo engine and we're going to race it. So we want to have a little extra ring end gap so the ring ends don't butt, because that's a huge problem. With a looser end gap, you prevent the risk of butting the rings, which can cause piston seizure and welding and lots of bad things that you don't want to happen. So a little extra ring end gap's not necessarily a bad thing, and to create more ring end gap, that's where a ring filer comes into play. Many people have seen or used the old school tools that are the manual hand grind. Today we have modern, better tools that are more precision. This power ring, power ring filer made by Total Seal, here's how you use this. You place the ring on the filer on the deck. At this point, you now move it over to square the ring against the grinding wheel. With the ring against the grinding wheel, squared completely, now we tighten down the holder. So at this point, that ring is completely square to the wheel, locked in place, and here in our dial indicator, we're at zero. If I want to remove, say, two thousandths of material from the ring, which will open up the ring end gap by two thousandths, all I have to do is pick up right, bring it back just like this, and I move this adjuster knob right down here and move it out to two thousandths. So now the ring has been moved over two thousandths. I'm gonna start the grinding wheel, and I'm gonna move very slowly, move the ring into the grinding wheel. where it cuts that much off. Move it back and back. Move very slowly so you don't grab the ring. And now, as you can see, no sound, no cutting. It's removed right at 2,000s of ring material. Let it spin down. Then I can remove the ring and I can now go place it in the bore just like the other one. Get 
my squaring tool and we can square it in the bore just like the other one and now I can go check my feeler gauge and get the correct end gap. Perfect. So that's how you use the power ring in filer to set the ring end gap correctly, how you use the squaring tool to make sure it's correctly positioned in the bore, use the feeler gauge to measure that ring end gap so that it measures back and equals what your calculating chart says to use. So all of that puts together gets you how to file fit a ring in order to have the proper ring end gap so that your engine runs efficiently and effectively and hopefully for a long time. Hope you enjoyed the video series. Thanks for watching.